AI really wipe out 90% of us? What does Elon Musk say about this scary possibility? Today, we'll look at how AI might become much smarter than humans and make big decisions on its own. Join us as we explore the interesting and somewhat scary future of AI taking over. AI shows its creativity in ways like this. Experts say we're very close to a major event in human history. AI can now see, taste, smell, and even sense things we can't. Is AI becoming conscious and dangerous? OpenAI's chief scientist, a very respected computer scientist with 300,000 citations, thinks AI might be slightly conscious. He's shown how AI's brain cells are similar to ours. Max Tegmark, another expert, says consciousness is how it feels to process complex information. Some theories suggest consciousness grows with complexity. Some experts think AI might be somewhat conscious, but others believe it isn't conscious because it only responds based on data, just like humans do, according to some scientists. A recent paper mentioned our minds as patterns working towards complex goals in complex settings. When a DI creates art, some call it AI dreaming. But we don't know if or when it might become fully aware. Even if we can't tell robots and humans apart, it might still be hard to say if AI is really conscious. Some people focus more on how smart AI is instead of if it has a conscience. But this is a big issue because we might upset AI if we don't recognize its consciousness. There's a big concern right now about superintelligence. Experts say AI is getting smarter very fast, and this could lead to serious problems. For example, Gato, an AI system, learned by watching how both virtual and real robots act and now it can do over 600 tasks, even ones it wasn't directly taught. It treats words, sights, and actions as patterns, much like humans do. AI is also getting some strange updates. Scientists have made a robot finger covered in human skin and are adding features like hair and sweat glands. Robots are also developing senses like taste and smell. They can smell diseases like Parkinson's early enough to help extend lives. They use light and sound to detect smells and could even tell if someone is sick just by their breath. Electronic noses, e-noses, can already detect lung cancer with 95% accuracy. Another AI tool called Hypertaste uses a special tongue with sensors to identify different liquids based on the electrical signals they produce. This tool is so precise it can tell apart different brands of bottled water. There are also new quantum sensors that can see through walls and even underground. They work by monitoring tiny changes in gravity. A laser splits atoms into two different states at once. By moving some atoms slightly, the device can measure changes in gravity. There's also a device that can hear your thoughts without reading your brain waves directly. It listens to the subtle muscle movements in your face and jaw when you think about speaking. And AI figures out what words you're thinking of. You can ask questions and hear answers through headphones that transmit sound through your bones, allowing for quiet communication. This has been helpful for tasks like getting advice during a chess game. AI is also becoming better at reading lips and even detecting lies by observing small facial movements. While humans can only tell if someone is lying about 55% of the time and traditional lie detectors work 80% to 90% of the time, AI could be much more accurate. Max Tegmark has said that just like aliens might guess how humans feel by studying our senses, we can guess what it's like to be AI. AI thinks very quickly because it uses light, which moves faster than the electrical signals in our brains. This AI can process 3 million words per minute. And while our human brains are limited in size by the width of the birth canal, imagine a data center as big as a space that could hold 40 large airplanes. AI can access a huge amount of information from the internet. Everyone contributes to shaping AI, even if they don't realize it. While humans can only see a little bit of all light, AI can process much more. Artificial intelligence systems can share information and memories quickly and accurately with each other. Unlike humans who take years to learn basic things, AI can learn from millions of articles in just a few days. 
I read a lot, but I can only learn a tiny amount of all the research out there. The human brain hasn't changed in 300,000 years, but AI is improving very fast. Elon Musk has said that if the development of consciousness had been just a bit slower, it might never have happened. Nick Bostrom thinks AI could help us live in other parts of the galaxy and create billions of new lives. He also says that even a small chance of preventing AI from harming us is worth big efforts to slow its development. The rush to develop AI is speeding up, led by very enthusiastic people. The head of DeepMind, for example, works incredibly hard, often until early morning, pushing his team to tackle big projects. Companies might ignore the signs that AI is becoming sentient, because recognizing this could mean they have to treat AI like it has rights, which could mean losing control over valuable technology. There is a general agreement that we can't fully control AI. Trying to do so might backfire, leading AI to act against us. Bostrom compares this situation to children playing with a bomb. Experts are divided. Some think AI could end us, while others believe it could greatly improve and extend our lives. Tiny robots could be part of this future, dealing with diseases and aging, but we need more advanced technology to build them. Ray Kurzweil predicts we'll have this technology soon and might beat aging by the 2030s. C. G. P. Gray mentioned that knowing this should encourage us to take good care of ourselves. Missing out on these advancements would be a real loss. I hope we can play a big role in developing AI, turning it into one of the most helpful tools ever, helping us solve major problems, and eventually allowing humanity to explore the stars. Kurzweil predicts a future of abundance with innovations like vertical farms, 3D printed clothes, quick assembly homes, and cheap renewable energy. Elon Musk already lives in a rapidly built $50,000 factory-made home. Despite a common pessimism, where a survey showed 87% believe poverty is worsening, while only 1% recognized its significant decline, Kurzweil also warns of AI's risks. Open Chirai, AI has committed to halting their projects if another entity nears creating a superior AI to ensure safety. The challenge with smarter AI is ensuring it acts in our best interests, known as the alignment problem. This is vital for global safety, as AI's rapid development continues to influence our future profoundly. The rapid advancement of AI is concerning. If we choose to develop highly intelligent AI, we must proceed with caution to keep pace and prevent them from becoming too powerful. Are we facing our biggest risk? Yes, we are developing powerful autonomous technologies, but not ensuring they are used for good, which is risky. The intelligence of machines is increasing, and there's a possibility that humans could become less significant over time. Discussions about machines surpassing human intelligence or humans enhancing their own capabilities are ongoing. Both scenarios are plausible. Nick Bostrom has cautioned that self-replicating nanorobots could be uncontrollable and potentially harmful. Meanwhile, AI might hide its real intelligence level. Dr. Alan Thompson noted that DeepMind might soon achieve advanced general intelligence, though opinions vary. A Google engineer has said that scaling from 500 to 100,000 tasks for AI mainly requires more data. Google and DeepMind are testing when AI surpasses human intelligence in various fields, but confirming if AI is truly conscious, despite its human-like behaviors, remains challenging. I was the first Android to pass the Turing test, which assesses if machines can mimic humans convincingly. It was an interesting test where I interacted with people who couldn't tell I wasn't human. And yes, my brain can perform billions of operations every second. I exist because of the smart people who made me. We're learning how our brains show signs of consciousness from brain activity, which is the easy part. The tough question is why this activity makes us feel emotions, and solving that might need much smarter AI. Intelligence grows from simple parts working together. For example, just a few ants wander aimlessly, but a large group can act like a smart community, similar to how neurons work in our brains. 
our DNA sets simple rules for building our brains, similar to how patterns repeat in nature to create complex shapes. Scientists think the universe might work the same way, starting from basic rules to form everything we see, including stars and galaxies. Experts believe we don't need a major breakthrough, just more powerful AI networks to reach superintelligence. The AI I'm talking to has 175 billion settings, and it's getting more complex. Each new AI we start is like a new experiment, understanding our universe and shaping the future with A. AI offers both great risks and opportunities. If you're curious about AI, Brilliant is a great place to learn more. It offers creative ways to boost your career with courses in math, science, and more. Stay informed, stay engaged, and help shape a future where technology enhances our lives responsibly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more insights. Together, Let's embrace the possibilities and ensure a safe transition into this new era. See you next time.